Yeah. Oh, it's you. Thanks a bunch. You know, I'm truly blessed with good fortune. I was born into nobility, lived a carefree childhood, and I even survived a human attack. But more than all of that, I've met people I can trust. I'm further blessed in friendship. Sometimes it frightens me. I question whether or not I deserve to have all this. Of course you do. Hearing you say it helps me believe it. After all, I was only able to help the people here because of my parents' wealth. The inheritance just happened to be in the royal capital, and the people of Harlia were coincidentally in the same place. Luck is its own type of skill, right? <laughs> Guess I should just embrace it, yes. I don't regret using the full inheritance as I did for a moment. Given a second chance, I would do the exact same thing. But I think I defied my parents in some way. That's my only regret in all this. I highly doubt they'd be angry about it. I just don't know. Even during the attack, my parents shielded me from the fighting. They told me to get to Grand Trad with all haste. Hmm. Grand Trad. Angief said my parents told him the same. They wanted everyone to flee to the capital. And then the merchant in the capital was the one keeping the inheritance. Is... Is this all really coincidence? No. Your parents orchestrated it this way. If that's true, though, do you think my parents might have intended the inheritance to be... Oh, the family treasure. My father mentioned in the letter. He wasn't talking about the inheritance. He meant the people. A nobleman is the shield in his people's hands. Durable enough to protect them, but light enough to carry. Else what value does he have? I... I continue to find ways I never understood my parents. They put their faith in you. In me. They had faith. In me. I'd always thought I'd been a worthless son to them. You've done your parents the greatest of honors. Have I? Father. Mother. Leave the people of Halia in my hands. No. Leave the fate of this country to me. <sighs> Someday. Someday I will restore our home. Everyone will come back to live in peace. And I won't let anyone take it from us ever again. But this isn't about my family. This tragedy must never be allowed to be repeated anywhere. On my pride as a noble, I swear it. The proud noble Stroll. Keeper and heritor of the warrior's virtues. By the grace of his newfound powers, work together to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. I'm going to change the future with you.
Thank you, my friend. Hope is only a step behind a clear conscience. My parents' mantra has never been more clear to me. You keep moving forward. Do what you know to be just. And I will be just a step behind, no matter what. Look back, and you will find hope. Don't forget that. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. At last. Got it? Things will be fine. Yep. <sighs> 
sharp soldiers all. They carry themselves with more poise than Martyrus guards. They comprised the most elite unit of the military until Luis's secession. Now they are his private guard. I don't see Luis. Those brothers, all that songstress. But this many people here means the runners got to be all but empty. Shh, they're here. Glad you made it. Could stand to loosen up a little, though. What's got you lot so wound up? Well, you have to admit, the assembled company is more than a little intimidating. <laughs> You'll get used to that. You'll have to if you want to survive. Hey, pups. Hmm. Where's that Ishkia man? The lanky old chap with the glasses. He's keeping watch over our gauntlet runner. What? Don't feel safe leaving your gauntlet runner empty. As you like, I suppose. I don't see that songstress, Juno. Is she not coming? Ah, she's under the weather. Poor girl went and lost her voice. Not many others could refuse an invitation from Lord Luis and live to tell it. They're looking forward to having another chat with her, eh? What a shame. Del got a bit droopy about missing her, too. God's sake, Baz Belltop! There he is! I'm glad you could make it. I feel... somewhat out of place. No need to be modest? Standing in attendance here proves you've won my approval. Everyone recognizes that. Now, while the drinks in their cups have yet to reach their heads, let's get the formality of introductions out of the way. Friends! Today we welcome a most emboldening addition to our ranks. Doubtless you've heard of the young candidate who brought great shame to Sanctifex Forden. Before you stands the young man himself. Indeed, I was much surprised to learn he brought that Sanctorus forward with the intent of winning my regard. Commendably bold. Now, let us greet our new allies with warmth and pride. If my sword will be of use, you have it. It's your life on the line now, boy. Don't go losing it too quick now. The rest of the night is yours to drink in. Enjoy the party. Go. We'll take care of the rest. Hey, new boy. Slow down. Wouldn't be wise to snub a ranking officer now, would it? Well, look who it is. The only blowhard who showed up to the competition with a head smaller than his own. You little red-eyed! You want to say that again? All right.
Now we just keep up the charade as long as we can. Might I have a moment, please? Stroll, if I recall. I've heard you're a titled noble. Yet you stand behind a commoner candidate. I stand with a candidate who's proven he has power and potential. Besides, I'm a noble in lineage alone. My house no longer stands. Where are you from? Have you heard of a village called Harlia? Certainly. It was the first village to be destroyed by the human menace. Only because help never came. They requested reinforcements, but the army wouldn't spare a single soldier. Are the rumors true that... that was by your decision? That is true. But why? To save this country. Stroll! The Fool King and the fossils of the Sanctus Church refused to face the threat looming over this country. An adequately dramatic demonstration was required. They say you could see Halia burning as far as the palace battlements. Confronted with that balefire, those old men could no longer deny the human threat. Your balefire cost hundreds of innocent lives. Do I offend you? Are you repulsed? Surely it helps you realize that you can protect nothing without power. The natural blessings you enjoyed are not infinite. Few have the luxury of living with no need to struggle and harm just to survive. But our nation would have you believe such hardship is born of moral weakness. So the punished are punished further. They die in silence like livestock. Their reality denied. It defies reason. All people deserve the chance to fight for their lives with their lives. Some will fall, some will triumph, and therein is true equality forged, however cruel. God. I am not one to stand idly by as history is wrought. All their sacrifices, and yours, shall not be in vain. A valuable conversation. I do hope you enjoy the party. Strong. Humblest apologies. He's a young heart and hasn't yet learned to temper his words. No worries. Truth told, I'd take him over the sycophants. That brat's nowhere to be seen. Where'd he slip off to? He couldn't have. Let's go have a look around, Hector. from a magma crystal. Maybe this is it.
And yet... Let's hurry! Okay?
standard. Incredible. Why would Luis? It's a forbidden text. So there shouldn't even be many copies left. He probably just happened to find a copy. Do you think Luis is actually reading this? If so, it doesn't seem like he's really getting its message. Wait, in there! There's a hidden box! Yes, magic formulas! Which one has the prince's curse? Oh, forget it! We'll just take the whole box! What are you doing here? Um, I... got lost. You're a terrible liar. Hey, didn't you just come out of the storage room? What were you doing in there? You were that fairy from before. <laughs> Count Luis gave me permission to come and go as I please in his private quarters. Hey, didn't I hear you had a sore throat or something? They said you lost your voice, but you sound fine to me. Uh-huh. I get it now. You snuck in this room last time too, didn't you? Wow, you're a real repeat offender. Oh, I'm really losing my touch. Remember how I said I'd keep my eyes on you? Well, I have to say, I like what I see. Hey, get away from him! I don't suppose we could keep my little investigation secret. I'll keep quiet about you too, now that we're accomplices. I don't plan on ratting you out. <laughs> I do love a smart man. So, your little cohort cases the place first, leaving you to slink in once you've got the brief. Pretty sharp. Hey, I'm not just a little cohort. I have a proper name, and it's Gallica. Gallica? Your name is Gallica? Wait, does this mean... So you're here for... Someone's coming! Well, well. The occupants absent, but the doors locked. I see why the guards are in a panic. 
There's no use hiding. This is quite a turn up, isn't it? The rant I might have figured for a rat, but even my lord's favorite little songbird? What a scandal! And when he hears it from me, maybe I'll finally get some recognition around here. Everything's falling apart! What do we do? I think he's gone. If he'd stayed, he could have trapped us here. Thank goodness he's as stupid as he looks. I'll take care of this. Just listen close and act fast. The box you found contains the formula to the curse. I knew it. We both know what you're here for, right? Take what's inside and leave. Who... Who are you? What are you? Let's survive now. Talk later, shall we? She told us to run, but we can't just leave her. I... I say we go after her. Your attention, everyone. Assembled comrades, let us speak of the old vulture's last grasp at power. The tournament for the throne. It hardly bears saying that the competition is a farce. It is a transparent conceit of the Sanctus Church orchestrated to win Forden the Throne for all who bristle at their hubris, and indeed for the sake of the public. This hollow pageantry must be put to rights once and for all. And it shall be done by my hand. I hereby announce my formal entry into the competition. But, but my lord, Forden would surely never allow you to enter the race midstream. Why would I care for his permission? The late king's decree was that the crown would go to whoever had won the people's trust, not whoever indulged the church's sideshow. I will enter at my leisure. Should he deny me, Forden will be rightly denounced as the coward he is and lose the nation's faith. Then all will know he was never the one in control. For all that we believe, and all that we have proven, we shall bring their own dogma down on their heads. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, hail Lord Maurice! We got one sanctuary strung up. Now let's send Forden to the gallows. He's entering the competition? Even knowing it was rigged, there's still a lot he could get out of it. He's just been biding his time all along. Louis. Unfortunately, I am told we have a rat in our midst, sniffing for morsels at our esteemed colleague's heels. <laughs> Wretched rat, if you stand among us tonight, you may tell your master this. I will neither run nor hide. If you think you can stop the rule of power, then come and try. Luis will be king! Hail King Luis! Go and see who is absent from the soiree. On it. They're going outside. Not good. They're bound to check the gauntlet runner. We've got no choice but to chase and stop them. Oi, new bloke. Didn't hear you shout in Count Luis's name loud enough. Come now, let's see you cheer with your gut, eh? Ugh, out of the way. I'm busy. At this rate... Del, look! The Caradrius is airborne! What? Why? You hear anything about a takeoff today? With its owner out? Impossible. The rat's behind this. You know what's been on my mind? I want to know who took out Zorba. Wouldn't catch me dead sharing drinks with him, but he weren't some half-wit. If it was the Cathedral Guards, they had help. Think the rat nipped him too? Lord Luis has plenty of new friends hanging about. I wouldn't be surprised if some think they're clever. And me, I'd start with those stooges who cast all their magic without igniters. Whoa, Del, eyes up. It's coming down. Secure the perimeter. Anyone so much as blinks the orders to kill on sight. Whoa, Del! This is no good.
Ready? To run. You're too soft. Behave now. I'd hate to stick you through that precious throat of yours. <laughs> you know, I didn't expect you to actually bother to come. The songbird baited the trap nicely after all. I suppose that settles it. The rats were working together. Must be quite a story behind this. But more importantly, time and time again, you dragged my name through the mud. And now look who's the traitor. Oh, I'm going to make this hurt. Hector, come. Hector? Wait, that's your dog? You mean he transformed at your command? That animal's been corrupted by melancholia, and still you tamed it. Gladell, why did you hide such an amazing talent? Isn't taking hostages a bit beneath you? What? Don't you dare patronize me! You think I don't realize it? I'm not strong, I'm no towering Rassant war hero. All I've got is my wits, damn you! How could I win a rigged game but through foul play? Foul play? And now, I'll wipe those arrogant smiles off their faces. I should be the man being served and worshipped. Me, no one else. And yet every time, I watch them surpass me in everything I did. That bastard Luis included. They've been thorn after bloody thorn in my side, but that all ends today. I'll offer you up on a silver platter, and one day, the world will know me as its rightful ruler! Oh my, you're pathetic. I told you to shut your damned mouth! Go, Hector! Don't move. That goes for you too, fairy. Unless you'd rather see her pretty little neck bleed. What do we do? <sighs> right now, all we can do is make it through this. We're not careful about this. Judah might. <laughs> Spectacular! A fitting end for a pack of rats. Get them, Hector. <sighs> no. Isn't there anything we can do? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Who's your king now? I am. You let your dog do your fighting. You're such a disgrace. He has no pets here. So what's the matter? Are you too scared to fight him alone? A duel? <laughs> Have it your way. Come then, we'll do this right. <laughs> <laughs> I am Gladell, and you will kneel before me as your king! So, who are you to me? I am the one who would save this country! Well, that worked better than I expected. This is bad. That guy is near the top of the candidate rankings. That means the royal magic will make him invincible to us. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right of it. You fell for it. She brought you straight to me. Now I have you, and I'll ensure your suffering is long and painful. But see reason. Juna, if you take my son, I might be persuaded to spare you. Am I not worthy of your affection? 
I'm more of a man than that bastard Luis could ever be. Over my dead body. I am Juan the Cygnus. I am no one's trinket. My life is my own to protect, and I will accept nothing less. <laughs> What? It worked? <laughs> well, you're not invincible. Damn you! What's going on here? Let me help. Your powers have intrigued me from the start. You and your friends. You call it... an archetype, right? What? I thought as much. Surprising, though. I'd written them off as a myth. Not even my sister got close. Still, now that I've seen their power a few times, maybe I can do it myself. Very well. O oh, Lord Star, who wanders in sorrow. O oh, thou anguished traveler who hath borne the weight of parting from the start. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities become thy light. Thou art the brilliant star that shall illuminate the king's road. Now, awaken. Look. Look at me. What you see now is my commitment to my song. Behold, my voice rises from the depths of my heart. can die together. Stay strong, Hector! 
I'll show you. Howling wind! Hit their weakest. That's okay. Don't Sniper. let them down, Yuna. Here's through. Hector! Damn it! Damn you all! You're nothing! Let's go! Cut! Death to all traitors! Gale! Oh. You sure don't give up easy! Die! <laughs> Die! Ow! Sniper! Here's through! A tough one! I call upon a royal soul! Your rightful king! Help! Help me! I... I give! Please! I'll not say a word about you sneaking in. Just spare my life, I beg you. What do we do? If we let him run off, he's obviously going to rat us out. But killing him would give us a lot to explain. Maybe we should work out some kind of deal. Idiots! It's the oldest trick in the book! What's happening? No. I'm the future king. I can't. I can't breathe. Why? Is he dead? So the magic protected us. But why now? What the hell? Dead? You lot kill him. N no! He's the one who attacked us! And then the king's magic did all that to him! That the truth of it? Oh, he snuck into Count Luis's private quarters. Must have gotten in with all the confusion of takeoff, I suppose. Right? And why did the bloody thing take off like that? We could hardly believe our eyes. Oh, well. You know me and my indulgences, boys. Perhaps I got a bit carried away, but we're in Brylehaven. I simply had to see the night view over the city. You have an alap. Anyway, Ben Gladell went from crass to violent. That's when he stepped in to help. Right? Yes. That was a close one. Totally. Close call. Crikey, Lady Juna, I'm sorry. Sounds like you've had a right awful evening. Hold on. You were supposed to be at the soiree, weren't you? That's a lot of ground to cover, isn't it? Why? One would think you don't believe us, Fidelio. I'm wounded. You truly doubt me. Well, no, just... I suppose that means the rat was Glodel. Lord Louis said we got a traitor in our midst, is all. We came by thinking to catch him. This... is that so? Well, hadn't you better report back? Shall we make what we can of this party together? Your throat's all better then, Lady Juna. My... Ah, yes. Much better. He gave me such a thorough examination, after all. He took good care of my throat. My tongue. My lips. He, um... You. If you'd come a bit earlier, I might have asked you to do it. Really? Hardly matters to me. Anyway, I'd say this bears reporting. Let's leave the guards to their cleanup and get out of here.
Yeesh, Lux could kill. Scary. So Gladell was our rat, was he? And he's already been executed? Afraid so. The two of them were the only ones who left the soiree early. Sounds like Gladell overstepped and Lady Juna and the new lad had to fight him down. Or it could have been the other way around. Too right. Dead can't speak, after all, and we've no other witnesses to the scene. Now hold on. Gladell was a right prolific candidate. We know the King's magic protected him. Their story goes that he attacked them and got petrified to death for it. If that's true, the boy would have to have the stand-in for it. That fact is no longer in question. I received a report a short while ago. They say your face has emerged on the King's Rock. It appears your stunt with the Sancteress earned you some renown. Hey, good for you, Pop. And that's how the magic got to Gladell. One wonders what you stopped Gladell from doing. What was he after there? No, oh, who knows? We were hardly in a position to ask. Wonder if he was on old Forden's payroll. Nah. He'd been at that monk Godot's neck since the race had barely started. Tried to snuff him out in the wilds, too. Not anywhere he'd have had an audience. No matter. Forden has been kind enough to whip the people into a frenzy over this race. I'll step in and reap what he so graciously sowed. From here on, you will serve as my eyes and ears. Understood. Let us see what scheme Forden devises for the next task. Until then, you may take your ease in the city. Oh, and with Gladell out with the rubbish, might I promote him to the role of my chauffeur? Are you serious? Is it so strange? He does have his own gauntlet runner. In fact, I'd better go make sure it's up to my standards. Let her do as she pleases. <laughs> What's wrong, Del? Looking a bit green around the gills. Gladell was an ambitious man, yeah, but is that enough to justify him looting Count Luis's personal quarters? What was in it for him? All right. Sorry for barging in. A bit late for introductions, I expect. What? You haven't told them about me yet. I can't tell them what you haven't told me. So, can I assume that you are one of us? That is, we too stand alongside Count Luis, but how to say it? I think you and I were after the same thing in old Luis's room. You really weren't told. Don't tell me you're the other agent Grius mentioned. Grius? Is he the one who died at the Grand Cathedral? I'm sorry. They kept the finer details confidential. So I never really knew who the other agent was. But I understand the objective well enough. The curse on His Highness the Prince can't be lifted by conventional methods. So we either kill the caster or get the formula. I see. So you and Grius were the two prongs of the operation. You get the formula, he hunts the caster. Ever since the King's magic made it impossible to kill Luis, I've been ready to meet up with a new contact. I just wasn't expecting one so young. If I hadn't learned the fairy messenger's name was Gallica, I'd never have realized it was you. I'm pretty shocked myself. I never figured the big famous songstress would be on our side. And I thought you and Luis were... Uh, you were his... His lady love. <laughs> God, no. I wouldn't be caught dead in that madman's quarters unless it was to rob him blind. No. Luis keeps me close because he likes my voice. That's all. He made the lines of that relationship quite clear, with no room for messier entanglements. I think that clears up your place here. But I have to say, you're risking a lot for a side job. 
Why go to these lengths when you've so much to lose? At first, it was just coincidence. I tend to find myself in honored company, and I happen to be around where a resistance operative was doing a spot of recon. So, in sooth, you were strong-armed into this? What? No, no. Quite the other. I requested to join. When fate beckons, one can't just turn her away. A singer's whole self is built off all she experiences. This seemed like a chance for a once-in-a-lifetime inspiration for my art. And nobody else had a plausible way or reason to get close to Louise. So, you could say our interests aligned. All that just so you could grow as a singer. You really are devoted and fearless to boot. I know what I put my life on the line for, that's all. You all have something like that, don't you? A devotion that anyone else might see as foolish. Ha! <laughs> the girl's bold as brass! No wonder she's got all the crown subjects by the heartstrings, eh? Well, half of it might be because of my birth. A Nydia girl's got to be bold to step out into this world at all. Though it's hard for most people to understand why. Singing is everything to me. To truly stir even a single soul. I'd take that over a thousand of the church's accolades. Well, anyhow, that's what's going on with me. I'll stick close to Luis for now so he doesn't start suspecting anything. Any objections? Captain? We'll be counting on you. I knew you were the sort of man who knows what to say. Glad to meet you as a proper comrade. Gets your heart going, doesn't it? Well, didn't see that coming. But I guess we've got another ally now. Our journey looked pretty precarious at first, but it's gone surprisingly smoothly. I'll do my best to help too. Let's see this through. Get back on track. Anyway, welcome aboard, Juna. Oh, right! Let's decipher the formula we found. Hopefully we can finally break the curse. Do we even know anyone who can read the blasted thing? Oh, I love a good blueprint, but this formula leaves me a tad glazed, what? Actually, Grace's notebook mentioned a Rella in the margins. Seems like he had it in mind to bring it to her. Rella? The girl they call the Saint? Saint Rella. Indeed, she would be the most qualified. After the attack on His Highness, we sent for the kingdom's best healer. It was she who answered our summons, and she who saved His Highness from certain death. Hold on, the best healer in the kingdom? That attack was over ten years ago. That so-called saint looked about my age. Rella was a prodigal talent. One of the most gifted at the Mage Academy. Even as a child, she outclassed her teachers with an igniter. Wait, you know her? I'm afraid she's a bit out of our reach now, though. She left a while ago to return to her work at the royal capital. We couldn't manage such a trip under Luisa's gaze. Well, a trip to the royal capital would hardly put us out. We'll just pip over with a bit of magic. No, really, it's dash it convenient. There are some conditions, but we could travel instantly to a few specific places. Well, no sense waiting. Let's be off. Right, all yours. Wait, wait, wait. How did you do that? Don't shout in the streets, would you? How can I not? Do you know how incredible this is? What are you people? Hey, look. Isn't that the songstress? It is. It's the Lady Juna. Oh, I'm always wanting to shake her hand. Oh, hell. The price of fame. If word gets out that you were seen here, it'll be hard to explain yourself later on. Rella works at the church on Main Street. I'll lead the way. You know your way around, eh? 
Wait, this Rella's a world-class healer, and she's working as a local doctor. Is that uncommon? Igniters are not known for their use in healing. Indeed, tis a virtually impossible feat, often reserved for the nobility. I'd have expected Saint Rella to serve the court only. If she turned down that prestige in the name of helping the common folk, then I suppose she really has earned her saintly titles. Come on, let's hurry on. What do you make of all this, Captain? If we ask her to decipher the curse, we risk exposing our identities and our aims. Do you trust her? She certainly seems trustworthy enough. Um, yeah. I guess we agree there. If you say so, then let's get on. Let's hurry. All right, then. Sorry, putting some elixirs away. Be with you in a moment. Hello, how can I help you? <sighs> Juno, long time no see. Sorry for all of us storming the place. And you, you're the one who was at the exhibition. Right, now that you all know each other's names, Rella is my older sister. Adopted sister, that is. Her family took me in. Though don't spread it around. The public doesn't know, and we don't know who tried to exploit it. It's been forever, Juna. I'm so sorry. I really was planning to meet you after the opening ceremony. I understand. You were attending to Sanctifex Forden until Brylehaven. But that's wonderful. Such deft social climbing even puts father's efforts to shame, eh? Ugh, social climbing. Glad to make your acquaintance. I am Rella Cygnus. I'm a healer. But somehow, I doubt that's why you're here. Actually, there's something we'd like you to look at. Where... Where did you get this? I know it's asking a lot, but... Could you share anything you know? Without asking too many questions? I've seen something like this before. I'd never forget. Objectively speaking, the magic involved is a direct inversion of a healing spell. Popularly known as a curse. Hmm. I suppose that stands to reason. Pardon the late introduction. I am Hulkenberg, a Knight of the Crown. As you may have guessed, that is the formula to the curse that slew his royal highness, the prince. Hold on! The death of his highness was a tragedy one I would see repaid in full. As his royal guard, it is my duty to punish the treasonous snake responsible. Then surely the man who penned this was Luis. Look, what happened at the exhibition? We were trying to get closer to Luis. You're a holy woman, so I couldn't ask your forgiveness. But if you could at least understand. The Lady Joanna's penitence was sincere. To hear her, I thought it must be so. It was Forden who chose such a terrible punishment. That was what scared me. Oh, Rella. Ah, but I'm a bit relieved. I heard rumors Louise had swept you off your feet and you'd been hanging on his arm since. Oh, I worried for you so, Juna. 
I see now I needn't have given it a second thought. Of course. I am Juani Cygnus, and my life is... Yes, yes, your life is your own, I know. Just make sure you're not causing trouble for everyone else. I suppose this is another dramatic and risky gesture. Like when you ran away from home in a frenzy of passion, declaring you'd take the stage or die trying. No! Well, sort of. Maybe, yes, but... Oh! You didn't have to put it like that. I've looked over the formula. From what I can tell, this spell's effects are... enduring. As long as the magic source continues to exist, the effect shall never fade. The trouble is, while most curses simply consume the magic released in the moment's casting, this one is designed to perpetually draw on the magic of the caster. So as long as Luis lives, it doesn't matter where his victims run and hide. Sounds just like him. But I'm afraid even if his highness still lived, I don't think anyone could have broken the curse using this. This formula isn't complete. It's a mere outline clearly jotted from memory. I couldn't tell you how to lift the curse from this alone. What? Then... I'm sorry I couldn't be of any help. No, you, you've done plenty. Especially since we're the ones who sprang this on you. Pardon me, young man. May I say one last thing? You're a friend of hers, aren't you? Please, keep Juna safe. Of course. I'll do what I can. Thank you. She can be reckless sometimes. I'll be here for the foreseeable future. Any friend of Juna is welcome here, so stop by any time you like. The curse is impossible to break? Did I miss a funeral? I've never seen you lot so gloomy. <sighs> what do we do now? The only way left is to take down Luis himself. The impossibility of that is precisely what led us here, Stroll. And now... We are no further than when we started. Plenty of assassins have come for Luis, but the King's magic works every time. They all died frozen in agony. Even if we could fight him properly, do we stand a chance? The man's an unparalleled master of both martial and magic arts. This might be the end. Still, we have to stop Luis, no matter what. The royal magic's not an absolute shield. It cost Gladell his life. We've just got to maintain the trust we've earned from Luis, and eventually we'll get our chance. For now, he told us to wait until the race's next task is announced. Then we'll have to do just that. <sighs> I'm pooped from all this brainstorming. I could use a break in the gauntlet, Runner. Mm. I must say I'm impressed. You have enough beds to accommodate this many people. Yes, as much as they grumble about cramped quarters. Apologies. Tis hardly accommodation worthy of a diva. And I confess the ride itself is often jarring. At the very least, I'll be happy with a bath. You have a room for that, I trust? Right this way, milady. Well, no point getting reckless now. Let's think about this some more tomorrow. By the way, what have you been doing all this time, Nurus? Thinking, mostly. Been having a good old ponder ever since I saw Luis's Skyrunner in the air. Always been my dream to fly on wings, you see. Not with any of this magic levitatory. And then in you come with this teleportation. Made me start wondering if there was any valid point at all to my flight theory, what? A long while back, I did a flight experiment to prove my theory was sound. Failed spectacularly, though. And got myself all crunched up in the process. I was still in bed, midway through my convalescence when they... when they told me I was to be demoted.
I didn't know. Between us, old boy, my flight theory is complete. Principles are sound and tested. All that's left are the practical, eh? Incorporating it into the gauntlet runner. But ever since that accident, I, I suppose I, I've been afraid to move forward with it. Afraid of failure. You and the rest of our merry band are risking your very lives for the prince. Here I sit moping, eh? And the way I see it, your teleportation can only take us places we've been. If we want to see new horizons, we'll need to take to the skies. It'll take time, no doubt. But I'll put my very soul into it. No shortcuts. And when I fly, I'll do it my way. All right, then. <sighs> right. Well, then. Still awake. What's the matter? Can't sleep? <laughs> well, that is rather the problem. I'm wide awake. Once we're back tomorrow, I'll sneak the formula back into Luis's room. Even if he suspected us, he'd never work out that we got to the capital and showed it to Rella in a single night. He won't find out about our mission. Surprised. I thought I was fine doing all that infiltration at Luis's place. Turns out I wasn't. Finally having others who know the truth, and having gotten to see my sister. I didn't realize how exhausted I am. And you personally saved me from danger back there. I'm terribly grateful to you. You're lucky, really. 
Have you know I'm rarely this candid. That's the forbidden text you mentioned in Luis's room, is it? I've seen him reading it from time to time. What's it like? Can I read a bit of it? The prevailing culture of the world is one of freedom in all things. No faith, fealty, or philosophy enforces ideology. All are free to create, and all are free to embrace those creations. This culture's influence spreads throughout the world. It is even said that a song of peace was powerful enough to bring an end to war. Oh, how inspiring. It's hard to imagine that a single song could be so influential. I wonder what the world would be like if a song really could reach all people's hearts. No matter their status or tribe. We, Nydia, we're all liars, you know. Everyone told us we were inherently worthless. Just a fact of our birth. So I learned some glamours to make myself at least look valuable. This form. It's all just a fancy disguise, really. A gilded mask for the world to admire. Or not. No, do forgive me. That was all lies, lies, lies. I don't think it's necessarily a good idea to reveal yourself entirely. But you should always have the freedom to. If these new powers are to give form to my ideals, I want to create a world where we can appreciate each other's freedom. I'll make sure everyone hears that in my songs. No matter what happens. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Now, prepare to hear the race's next challenge. Let's find out where our fierce competitors are bound. To recap, the 20 candidates with the current highest approval on the King's Rock will be the only ones to proceed. All others will be disqualified. I'd say the results of the exhibition are sure to have spread by now. Let's have a look at the standings, shall we? In first place, the undisputed winner, bane of sea monsters and saviour of the people, our very own Sanctibex Pardon! the traitor Luis in second, despite not actually being in the race. But in third, we have the warrior monk captain, Master Kiddo! Furthermore... In the end, everyone but Luis is just representing the Sanctus Church. What's your point? I dare say that's a relief. We'll finally be done with all this chaos. A return to normalcy. Normalcy. Funny how it's only the rich who miss how things used to be. But now Count Louis has the people behind him. He'll save the common man. Yes, we're all keeping our ears out for a response from Luis's faction. But we do have one standout who's seen a stunning jump in popularity since the exhibition. The lad responsible for exposing the sins of the Sanctress, Joanna. Valiant human slayer, yes, it's the young elder. <laughs> Why? Wasn't expecting that one. Name Mr. Famous in a single night. Just like that, he's in the top 20. Oi, crier man, where's the windbag? The one what acted all high and mighty over a tiny human head. Who? Oh, right, that Gladell or something. No sign of him, probably saw the writing on the wall and dropped out. So it really was all talk, then? The disgrace to the Rusan, hiding his inadequacy behind Luis's authority. But the boy candidate isn't the only one in the spotlight. We've a rising star by the name of Katharina. Some big ideas, that girl. I hear she plans to put a price on every wealthy head if she takes the throne. And what's wrong with that? 
If they're sitting on most of the kingdom's money, they can afford to hire a little extra security every day. Let them sweat it out. Now, here's a surprise. We've got a Mastari candidate still in the running. And my sources say they hail from... Well, well. Virga Island! A pagan island, eh? But they're filthy barbarians. Besides, nobody could compare to Lord Nemo. The final roundup's actually looking pretty diverse. We're just about ready to announce the next leg of the race. And that's the bell. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gents. It's time to begin the second round of the Tournament for the Throne! First of all, congratulations to the 20 who have won their places on the King's Rock. You are now officially the winners of the first round. Let's give them a hand! No sign of Luis. Even if he does plan to take over, suppose he's still not eager to play by their rules. I haven't seen Juno this morning either. I heard some nobles say she had a job suddenly come up. Better that the audience doesn't see her with us, anyway. Now, at long last, we are ready to announce their next challenge. This time, the task for the candidates is... Recovering and offering a divine relic! What? A relic? Don't worry, we're happy to explain everything. You'll not want to forget this, so we've arranged for you to hear it from an unforgettable voice! To tell us more, please welcome to the stage our guy, our songstress, the lovely Lady Juno! Her sudden obligation revealed, I suppose. Chosen heroes! Your next destination is Alterbury Heights, the capital of the Principality of Montario. You are to gather there by the deadline, with a divine relic in hand to offer the Sanctus Church. Tragically, there are still heathens in this land who choose to reject Sanctism. They care nothing for salvation. They cling to strange idols, calling them divine relics, believing them gifts from their eldritch gods. But their rituals are unstable, and their relics just primitive magic tools. It is time we put an end to this misguided witchery. Take these relics from the pagan's grasp and bring them to the birthplace of Sanctism, Alterbury Heights, in Montario. Please deliver them to their rightful place, in God's hands. May all our aspiring heroes be blessed with good fortune and the favor of God. I pray for your success. What a real presence before a crowd, doesn't she? Most as if he plucks at your heart. <sighs> Focus, Iceland, focus. By the deadline of the second round, Alterbury will begin the festivities for the autumnal Montario Saints Day. This two-day event kicks off on Saints Day Eve, with the main celebrations on the day proper. And this year's event will be historic. His Eminence, Sanctifex Forden, will be personally sealing the collection of the Pagan Relics. To celebrate, the songstress Tuna will be dedicating a ceremonial song. You won't want to miss this, folks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on my mark, let the second round of the Tournament for the Throne begin! <laughs> They're unabashedly ordering them to steal relics from pagan land now. That's plunder! They would steal our very culture! That candidate's a Mustari. Small wonder he's so aghast. Fordon's stooping to a new low. 
What do you mean? By and large, the Mustari are a pagan people. Their relics are cultural touchstones, vital to their hearts and faiths. And Fordens just ordered us to loot them as we please. But in our case, we won't even know what we're doing until Luis gives the order. Either way, we're bound for Alterbury. It's further east. We've a long trip ahead of us. Oh, my shoulder hurts. I don't care if it's the crown theocracy. You'd think they'd ask me a little sooner than the morning of. Still managed to put on a hell of a show for him. Lady Juna, Count Luis has sent for you. And you lot too, I suppose. Looks like our first job's come in. These men have me running all over. We're back, Lord Luis. Funny, isn't it? Since the Gladell incident, you've been inseparable from this gang. Well, one has to keep one chauffeur in line, don't you think? Hey, heard you got a gig at the Sanctus Festival. Good on you. Thanks. Though I don't know if it's worth celebrating. Seems to me it's to keep Lord Luis in check. Putting me on stage the whole time might keep you from crashing their Saints' Day party. And if we try anything, they'll use it as an excuse to blacklist you. Just the kind of shite you'd expect from those Sanctist stooges. You need fear nothing. It is Forden who now stews in his dread. That he seeks the divine relics is common knowledge. But who would simply give up an idol on par with the gods' reverence? He has all but commanded that we take it by force. The king's magic ruined his schemes. You humiliated him in the public eye. And in one desperate final grasp for authority, the fool has placed his fate in my hands. Forden's game will soon end. Let us at least give him the finale he deserves. What are you planning to do? What? Do you need to hear it repeated? I will give Forden his death. And what of the king's magic? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. For now, you need only follow my orders. Your task is to obtain a certain divine relic on my behalf. The artifact in question is a lance known as Dracodius. Dracodios. The Draco implies something to do with dragons, I presume? Suffice to say, the lore behind this particular relic intrigues me. You will acquire it in time for Saint's Day, and bring it to me. Pretty high stakes, my lord. You sure you want this crop of novices on the job? Rest assured, my other agents have their own relics I've assigned them to pursue. I've no urgent need for this lance, nor for them, should they fail. I'll go along and keep an eye on them, shall I? You can bet that if they try and run off with the relic, I'll put a stop to it. You certainly are attached to them, aren't you? Well, it's their first formal assignment in your service, after all. I can be your eyes and ears. So be it then. You may act accordingly. <laughs> so, my lord, where can we find this fancy lance? Find your clues elsewhere. You have nothing further from me. Prove you think as well as you fight. May we both find success in the pursuit of our shared vision. What now?